I had never heard of Lumpkin the Pumpkin, but given my love of pumpkins and animation, I knew I had to check this out. And I have to say, it's pretty delightful. There's one moment that I think gives a really dangerous message, but the majority of it is all about staying safe on Halloween, particularly if you're a child going trick-or-treating. This was released in 1994, directed by Dan Peeler and written by Bobby Goldsboro. And it's partly about a pumpkin called Lumpkin, but it's also about uh, a little witch called Tara. And unlike the rest of the witches, she doesn't want to scare people on Halloween. She just wants to have fun and also stay safe. So she goes about on Halloween talking to lots of children and giving them tips on, on how to stay safe. And the main tip, and I think it's actually a pretty good piece of advice, is to use a pumpkin, like Lumpkin, to make yourself more visible. Obviously, a lot of children are wearing very dark costumes for Halloween, and as is pointed out in the cartoon, people can't see them very easily. And if you're crossing the road and you don't have anything on you that's reflective or brightly coloured, it could potentially result in an accident. And I never really thought about that before within the context of Halloween costumes. But something as simple as carrying a, a bright orange pumpkin in one way or another, doesn't have to be an actual pumpkin, it is a pretty good tip to keep that Halloween theme in while boosting safety. And I rather enjoyed that part of it. And Tara has some other good bits of advice throughout it. The only thing that I think was a terrible bit of advice, and it really is very dangerous, and I'm really surprised they included this on something about Halloween. So this is a bit of a spoiler for something that happens. And basically, Tara goes up to the, the front door of a woman who the children are, are scared of. Every neighborhood has that one house they don't want to go near. It's usually with, you know, children creating rumours. It's either a very creepy man or a very witch-like woman. I'm stereotyping, but that's usually the kind of personalities in these, you know, children's fantasies about creepy neighbours. And in this case, it is a woman who they think is a very witch-like, evil individual. And Tara says, no, that's not the case. Just give her a chance. And she goes up to the door and talks to this woman uh, and that's all well and good. That's a nice message. Don't judge people until you've had a chance to get to know them. But then Tara goes inside this woman's house. And one of the strongest safety messages you can give to a child when they're trick-or-treating, particularly if they're a tiny bit older and are going on their own or with their friends, is don't go inside the house. And this showed exactly the opposite. And as I said, I was really surprised that a cartoon that's basically all about staying safe on Halloween shows the one thing you're not meant to do. I mean, really, the main message is don't knock on the door of somebody you don't know. But I think most people who go trick-or-treating will just do every house in the neighbourhood that looks like it's got somebody in with candy, even if you don't know them personally. But if you do knock on somebody's door and you don't know them, maybe even if you do know them, don't go inside. And instead, they, they showed Tara going inside this woman's house. And it was fine. She was a lovely woman and gave Tara some candy and there were no problems. But that in itself is a problem because it makes it seem like an okay thing to do. Not only does it make it seem like it's okay, but Tara was actually advocating. And that's a bit of a problem. So it's, it's not just a small issue. It's actually a really big problem within the narrative. But the whole thing lasts about maybe two minutes, that part of the narrative. It's, it you know, doesn't take up too much time at all. If we take that out of it, I'd say it's pretty perfect. Tara and Lumpkin are really likeable characters. The animation is really pleasing to look at. I really like the animation style. And even though it's set, obviously, in the evening when people are out trick-or-treating, it's still very bright and vivid and just really attractive to watch. Really great bits of advice in here, but unfortunately one giant problem of encouraging children to go into the homes of strangers. So it's a little bit awkward, but if they can remove those couple of minutes, Lumpkin the Pumpkin is pretty amazing. I guess the advice there is that if you watch this with a child, it's a good time to have a conversation about how you shouldn't go into children's homes. But then that does undermine everything else Tara is saying, because if you sit down with a child and say, that thing that Tara's just done, going into that woman's house, you shouldn't do that. How will the child then know what else to trust that Tara is saying? So it does kind of undermine the confidence there. 
It's a really big issue. I'm really surprised they included walking into a stranger's home in a cartoon about safety on Halloween. But the rest of it is gorgeous. Great for adults, adults who like Halloween and animations who know that you shouldn't go into strangers' homes. For children, proceed with caution. Some children just wouldn't go into a stranger's house anyway, whereas some children are not that afraid of that kind of thing. And it depends on the child. But either way, definitely proceed with caution if you consider showing this to a child. But the rest of it is gorgeous. And ultimately, from my perspective, I really thoroughly enjoyed it.